everyone. Welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air. This is the place to come when you want your English to improve. My name is Rebecca. Do you enjoy exercising? When you do exercise, do you prefer going to the gym or exercising outside? Well, today we're going to learn about a personal trainer, but he isn't any type of personal trainer. He is specifically there to help people with special needs. Today's lesson is called Andrew Cameron, and we're going to talk about personal trainer opens gym for athletes with special needs. That's exactly what he did. Okay, friends, open up your magazines to today's lesson. It's time to get started. So follow me. Andrew Cameron, personal trainer, opens a gym for athletes with special needs. You'd have to look hard to notice what makes Andrew Cameron's Lions United Fitness Center. Unlike anything else, there are the requisite lifting and strength training machines, the treadmills, and punching bags. But notice the generous amount of space allocated between rows of equipment, sufficient to allow a wheelchair to pass through. Cameron, a certified personal trainer and Special Olympics coach for 15 years. Has built his gym for athletes with special needs from school age up. Many are driven to win medals; others just want to stay or get fit. Well, today we are talking about Andrew Cameron, but you already knew that because you have your magazines, right? Personal trainer opens gym for athletes with special needs. So this isn't any type of gym. This is a very special gym. That's right. And that deck or that line right there next to the title kind of reads like a line you might read in a magazine or a,、um, a newspaper, right? Instead of saying a personal trainer opens gym for athletes with special needs, often those kinds of headings take out those articles. So that's why we just see personal trainer opens gym for athletes. And we start our lesson. You have to look hard to notice what makes Andrew Cameron's Lions United Fitness Center unlike anything else. All right. Before we continue, let's talk about this phrase "unlike anything else" because it is a phrase unlike anything else. You use this phrase when you want to say that there's nothing else like it. Rebecca. That was an explanation unlike anything else. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Wait, that's great. Let me give an example of something that I think is unlike anything else. Mom's cooking. I love you, mom, and、uh, for many reasons. But when you make that pork roast, oh, it's unlike anything else. Or when you make your peach cobbler, it's a kind of special dessert. It's really sweet with breadcrumbs, and、mm-hmm. oh, it's so good. It's unlike. Anything else? Oh, that's making me really hungry.、Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, enough about food. Yeah. Let's get back to our lesson here with Andrew Cameron. There's the requisite lifting and strength training machines, the treadmills and punching bags. But notice the generous amount of space allocated between rows of equipment. Okay, now there is so much space here that even a wheelchair can get through. Exactly. So at the beginning of the lesson, we we said、uh, that you'll have to look hard to notice what makes this gym different. But now you see what makes it different. There is space allocated or intentionally given for things like wheelchairs,、uh, things like that, so that they can pass through.、Um, so of course, this gym is just like any other gym. In the sense that it has the same kinds of equipment that other gyms have, and we read here Cameron, a certified personal trainer and Special Olympics coach, for 15 years has built his gym for athletes with special needs from school age up. 
Now, when we talk about school age up, that just means that this is geared for people who are school age mm -hmm. and people older than that. Exactly. So from something up, so mm -hmm. from that age and older. If you were to use the word down, then it would mean from that age and younger. Okay. So we're talking about people who uh, are from school age and up or older who have special needs that can use this gym, or this is what the gym was created for. And we read, many are driven to win medals. Others just want to stay or get fit. Now, if you're driven to win medals, that just means that you have a drive or you are determined to win medals. Mm -hmm. You're pretty competitive. Exactly. I think that's a great way to paraphrase that part of the sentence. If you are a competitive person, uh, maybe you want to go to this gym or other people just want to stay or get fit. You want to stay fit or get fit and get in shape. Well, you know, all of this discussion of gyms mm -hmm. reminds me of a question for you, Gabe. Oh. And, of course, for you, friends. Would you rather train on your own or with a personal trainer? You know what? It's mm. great to have professionals around to help you in life in any situation. Um, I used to have a personal trainer at the gym, but um, it's kind of expensive. Mm. I'm glad I learned a lot of things about how to do some weightlifting on my own, but right now I prefer to just exercise by myself. Mm, okay. Mostly because of the price. Mostly because of the Not price. Not because I doubt their expertise. I think they are pros and they can give you a lot of great tips if you have the money for it. Well, what about you, friends? Would you rather train on your own or with a personal trainer? Why? Talk about that in English. Well, right now it's time for us to take a long, hard look at that lion symbolism. Um, it's time for us to take a long, hard look at that phrase, a long, hard look, in, in the, the Info, Info Cloud. Cloud. Hello, friends. Welcome to Info Cloud. Rex, it seems like you've been really busy lately. You can say that again. It's been difficult to keep track of everything the past few weeks. Maybe it's time for you to take a long, hard look at your schedule. It's not good to be overwhelmed with things to do. That's not a bad idea. Something else that's not a bad idea is to talk about the phrase you just used, to take a long, hard look at something. If you take a long, hard look at something, then you carefully examine something in order to improve it or make it better in the future. Right, and you can do this with many things. You could take a long, hard look at something physical or something that is more abstract. For example, after his car broke down, Mike took a long, hard look at the engine to try to find the problem. You could also use this phrase to talk about something you can't actually see. That couple fights all the time. Maybe they should take a long, hard look at their relationship. You might also hear people shorten this phrase by leaving out the word long. We should take a hard look at the information. I don't Take a long, hard look at something. Long 有长时间的含义, 而 hard 就是代表很用力的, 很专注的. Take a long hard look at something 就是很仔细的检视一样东西, 看看怎么让它更好. Hey everyone, welcome back to Studio Classroom, where we are learning about Andrew Cameron. Now, Andrew Cameron is a personal trainer, but... Not any type of personal trainer. He specifically helps people with special needs. And recently, he opened a gym. Well, we have a very special interview with Andrew Cameron, so let's get right to this interview. Andrew Cameron. Interview. Question. Tell us about the lion symbolism. Answer. The lion is a symbol for bravery. The Special Olympics athlete oath is, Let me win, but if I cannot win, 
Let me be brave in the attempt. We're also emphasizing the word united. People with special needs don't have to be separated from other athletes. Question. I believe your inspiration for this effort came largely from your cousin Stephen. Answer. Yes. Stephen, who has Down syndrome, was the only athlete with special needs I knew growing up. I became a Special Olympics coach 15 years ago. A special connection and bond is made between athletes and coaches that stays forever. Well, this next part of our lesson is an actual interview. So we see QA, QA, that just means question, answer, question, answer. And so the first question we see here is, tell us about the lion symbolism. That's right. It's called Lions United Fitness Center. So what's that lion all about? Well, Rebecca, I know the answer is here in our lesson, mm -hmm. but if you didn't know what the answer was already, what does a lion make you think of? The lion makes me think of yeah. someone, ah, the king of the jungle. Good. The king of the jungle, yes, we often call the lion the king of the jungle. Um, it does make me think about bravery mm -hmm. or courage, or perhaps that character Aslan in the movies and books, The Chronicles of Narnia. Um, but here in our lesson, of course, as you know, it represents bravery. Right. So the lion is a symbol of bravery. The Special Olympics, uh, the Special Olympics athlete oath is, let me win, but if I cannot win... Let me be brave in the attempt. I do like that oath because not everyone is going to win. But everyone can be brave. That's right. And everybody can try to win, right? And it's important for us to, uh, to give dignity to everybody that we see and compete against as well because they're trying their best and they're brave just doing so. We continue here. We're also emphasizing the word united. People with special needs don't have to be separated from other athletes. And I really appreciate that because, you know, oftentimes, well, we do have a tendency to separate athletes with special needs and athletes without special needs. But mm -hmm. I really do like this idea that all athletes are athletes and they can compete, even if it's at different levels. That's right. Well, let's go on to the next question here. <laughs> Is this really a question? <laughs> well, we read, I believe your inspiration for this effort came largely from your cousin, Steve. Question? <laughs> And, uh, yes, Gabe, you kind of were asking the question. English is really funny because sometimes we're asking a question without actually using a question word, but mm -hmm. we use our tone of voice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you noticed that my, my tone went up at the end. I noticed you got this from your cousin, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Well, there's a word in here we want to talk about, and that is the word largely. This just means almost or almost completely. Okay, so here's an example of how you can use that word largely. You know, I am pretty new to the game Tetris 99, so I would say that I'm largely unfamiliar with Tetris 99. I'm still trying to get to know it. Absolutely. Good example. Well, next answer we read, yes. Stephen, who has Down syndrome, syndrome, was the only athlete with special needs I knew growing, growing up. I became a Special Olympics coach 15 years ago. A special connection and bond is made between athletes and coaches that stays forever. And Gabe, there is a question here I have at the end. And that is, how do you think you can create a special bond with someone? <clears throat> Well, I like what our lesson suggests, and that is to work closely with somebody, to have the same kind of mission or, or goal in doing something that can definitely help you create a bond. I think just spending quality time with somebody can create a bond. A lot of times, though, I think it's just something that some people have and others don't. And perhaps it just comes naturally between you and somebody else to have a bond. Perhaps it's your similar sense of humor. Well, you know, sometimes it can be a challenge working with athletes mm -hmm. of all different types. And speaking of challenge, right now it's time for our SC, SC challenge. challenge. All right, friends, for today's SC challenge, let's see who's playing with us. Please introduce yourselves. 
Hi everyone, I'm Linda. So excited to be here. I'm Brandon. Great to be here again, and I'm excited to win this challenge. We shall see. And friends, of course, you're excited to try to answer my questions about the lesson as well. I hope we've got three questions for you. Uh, they're a little bit different, some of them. The first one is a fill-in-the-blank question, but I'm not going to give you options, no choices. We're going to see who has the closest match to the correct answer. Okay, so at, a, at Andrew Cameron's gym for those with special needs, there is a generous amount of blank between each piece of equipment. Brandon. I'm going to say space. Linda, what would you say? Padding. Padding. Good. That's excellent. But the correct answer, Brandon just guessed, it is space. There is a generous amount of space between each piece of equipment, so there is room for people with wheelchairs to go through. Aww. Okay. Here's number two. Multiple choice. Cameron is a certified what? A, lifeguard, B, personal trainer, C, bodyguard, or D, Pokemon trainer. <laughs> yes, Brandon. <laughs> I'm going to say B, personal trainer. Linda, did you also have a guess? Well, I thought it was a fill-in. So <laughs> oh, right, I was no. going to say physical therapist. Oh, physical therapist. <laughs> mm, well, that wasn't one of the options, but... Uh, B was correct. Brandon, you have two points. Personal trainer. That is what Cameron is. Okay, number three. This is like the first one. It's fill in the blank. See if you can match with the closest definition. Okay, the closest word. The Special Olympics athlete oath is let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be blank in the attempt. Let me be what in the attempt? If I cannot win, Linda... Joyful. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Brandon, mm. let me be what in the attempt? Come on, Brandon. Um, you know what? I don't, yeah, that's a good word. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> drawing a blank? Well, I'm going to give Linda this point because she gave us a word, and it's a positive word. Yes. But here's a hint for the correct answer. Okay. A lion represents this virtue well. A lion is very what? Courageous. Proud. Right, courageous. <laughs> the word is brave. Let me be brave in the attempt. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Brandon is today's winner. And friends, I know you did a great job. That is all the time we have for today's SC Challenge. Hey, everyone. Now, one thing that we learned today is that a special bond is created between a personal trainer and an athlete. And here's a question I have for you. How can you create a special bond with someone? And what might that special bond look like? Well, why don't you talk about that in English? And we look forward to seeing you next time right here on Studio Classroom.